Are there less than two decades remaining for us? Is mankind going to be extinct in 2040? A supercomputer that analyzes and predicts outcomes says so. So will it be global warming, plagues, nuclear warfare, or the biblical end to this world? This supercomputer was made by NASA in the early 1970s. Its purpose was to predict our collective future, and to some extent, it was pretty accurate. The computer predicted the danger of global pollution and climate change way before they were considered real issues. It successfully predicted the fast rate of global pollution from the 1970s to 2020, even calculating how much of our natural resources will be consumed by this time. According to the math, the computer predicted that by 2040, global temperatures would exceed normal levels. Then, the global population and quality of life would slowly decline, to the point where human beings will no longer be able to live sustainably on the Earth. These predictions are also expected according to the Doomsday Clock, which has been active since the 1970s as well. So will this really happen? We cannot say for sure. But most scientific calculations point to a very similar future ahead of us. Even if somehow, some way, global climate does not reach those levels, and the quality of life is not disturbed, we should still be worried about a nuclear Armageddon. Currently, there are eight known nuclear nations. The arsenal in possession of these countries is extremely quantitative. We saw the devastation of Nagasaki and Hiroshima, but what if I told you that today's nuclear arsenal is hundreds of times more powerful than the ones used in World War II? With that in mind, try to visualize what would happen to the world if even one of these is used. With so much radioactivity and gigantic nuclear mushroom clouds, climate can be affected in seconds. The Earth may even enter another ice age, making it inhabitable for most life. So should we be worried? I mean, it's pretty obvious. Yes, we should. Let's think about the planet we'll leave for our future generations. Don't our kids deserve better lives than us? Instead, we would be leaving them with worse. We need to come together globally and defeat climate change. Otherwise, Earth will become inhabitable and the universe will forget everything about the human race.